it wasn't easy. I must tell you, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. <laughs> It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but to go up with the glory. And when it all came out, I was so happy. And when it all came out, I was so happy. Hi, meet Jemima Chuku, a groundbreaker, leader, professional, and researcher who is perfect about positively influencing, impacting, and inspiring people. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. It promises to share insightful content on health, leadership, education, networking, and tourism. Please like, share my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I post a recent insightful video. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I've been thinking of where to post on my YouTube channel, especially as it's a new year. I promised myself I was going to make a post this January 2021, and here I am. Eventually. I'll be sharing an answer to a question I thought of during my undergraduate days. And I know some of you might be um, thinking the same or similar question. During my undergraduate, I lived on a lodge where most of my lodge mates were brilliant people, likes of Chidan, Kaltin, and when we all go to the library to read, they'll be like, Ah, Jemima, why are you killing yourself for anatomy? I'll be like, I want to pass, for God's sake. So they'll be like, Ah, Jemima, anatomy is really irrelevant, sorry. I'll be like, Ah, irrelevant? I almost want to even stage, yeah, I stage arguments with them, like, ah, no, no, anatomy is useful, anatomy is, they're, they're used to, if you go to the hospital, it's an anatomy, if you, it's an anatomy, they'll be like, Jemima, no, not in Nigeria, and Houghton just brought this question one day, he was like, Jemima, they won't kill this, now visualize like a HD, looking in the mirror, trying to face your fears, and that question, oh, it blew me away, I was speechless, but it was a challenge. When it comes to anatomy, you see that if you're a graduate of anatomy or you are studying anatomy, um, people will be like, ah, what's anatomy for Christ's sake? Oh, okay, let me bring it home. What's anatomy? <laughs> they don't know what anatomy means and in the society, you don't see it relevant. Anatomy has to do with embryology and reproductive counseling, um, histology, histopathology, um, cosmetology, um, teratology, trichology. I know these things might sound so, <laughs> so new to you, but you could also go online, Google it, and you'll see what I'm talking about. How did I get to become an anatomy intern? First thing, I had mentors, I spoke to people, I was always communicating, I do not rely on myself. I leveraged the opportunity of um, attending conferences, I met some professors, I introduced myself. Professor Juan Parana told me one day that my man, he, the, the future of anatomy is bright. I was like, no sign, not bright, there's no, there's no serious thing for us. We just graduate and there's nothing, entirely nothing. So Professor Juan Parana said, um, no, 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 that he's thinking of starting um, internship programs for anatomists. I was like, whoa, my dream come true. <laughs> so, Professor Walpara was like, he already has a research center, Antonio Research Center in Ekoma, Edo State, Nigeria. So, he said, he's not really going to tell me what the program is going to look like, but um, I should have it in mind that his run is going to begin internship. I was like, whoa. And that was it. So what did I do? I joined the group chat on WhatsApp. And when I joined the group chat, I saw so many students. The group chat was filled up with students from different universities in Nigeria. There are like 35 universities offering anatomy in Nigeria. I know because I was involved in the students' body, like I said. So, Professor Wompa was like, um, Jemima, okay, this is the group. It's going to be very competitive. I saw myself that it's going to be competitive, but I had the passion. I stayed focused. I knew I, I needed something, and they said we were going to apply. I thought it was something easy, like all the departments. I didn't know it was not going to be easy at all. And uh, we submitted our CV and a cover letter with our referral letter. And I spoke to my 
mentors again. I spoke to Mr. Izuchuku. I was like, sir, please, I have not written a cover letter before. It was the first time for me to write a cover letter. So after the first process, I came out the breast. I had 70%. I thought it was going to end there. I was like, ah, this internship is, is just, since it's 17, I, I've, I've gotten it already. I didn't know it was going to take different, 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 different stages. And they told us that's the first stage. I was like, whoa. In the second process, we were told that we're going to be assessed based on our engagement in social media platforms like Twitter, like LinkedIn, like um, Facebook, ResearchGate, and so many others. And God helped me, my amiable lecturer, Dr. OEGK. He already gave me hints of most of these things. He helped me get my university email, and I had most of this account. I was already operating my LinkedIn account because I was already anticipating something, something, something big. And through that process, they, they were posting some um, posts on their handle. That's the Antonio Research Center where I'm doing my internship. Much, much, much later. I, I, I did breast still in the second task. I thought that was all again. They called us again that they're still the third stage. I was like, oh man, our intern coordinator, Mr. Richard Downs, was not even making things easy for us. It was just like, ah, no, 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 no. I said, ah, God. So the third process, um, we were asked to go and make research of funding bodies that can um, fund um, a research work on anatomy or our area of uh, area of specialization because when you were uh, when we were applying we stated the area we want to specialize on they had forensic they had teratology they had trichology they had sports anatomy they had um, neuroanatomy they had virtual science they had of course my area in biology and reproductive counseling so um they, this third task was about us going to look for funding um bodies that can fund a research on this on our particular area and i became bored that this is i didn't even know they were trying to assess our knowledge on social uh, on research if we can research if we just did our final thesis just by ourselves or we just did it reluctantly so after everything i did my own and i knew that because of my um, interactions with some of my lecturers, they are always, they are always particularly about my, my reference, your work, anything you're doing, make sure you pull reference, make sure you pull links, you pull hyperlinks. So I was familiar with those things. And when I was doing my work, I I had to cite where I got them from. I Googled, 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 and it motivated me that, wow, there are so many bodies that I want to phone. I saw myself learning new things even before the internship, and that was it. And when the result came out, I also did excellently the score 90. I had to continue, I was consistent. And when that result came out, I thought that was it again. No, it wasn't even it. They said there was another tax. Hey God, I freaked out. I was like, what tax again? We've been doing this thing for since God knows when. It was like months already for the recruitment process. I was like, what again? Huh? It wasn't even <laughs> it wasn't even funny, but in a way, I was desperate. So the fourth tax came, I was not feeling too well. I almost wanted to give up. I wasn't even in my current um, state of residence. I was already in another state. I the long story short. I won the, the video contest and I was given the price tag and I earned my certificate, certificate. Three days later. Hey, hey, hey. They said we're going to write an exam. I was like, what the exam? I thought I finished exams in undergraduate, <laughs> but it still really stopped me. I had to start reading because it gave us a course outline, very numerous things I don't even know before. Pre genetics testing, I mean, you I, I don't even know the things there. I was like, ah. I had to start asking some of my customers, they were like, no, remember these things, you can read them, you can Google them up, you can watch them on YouTube, it's accessible anywhere on the internet. So I was like, okay, I read, I read, and read low and be I saw my name at the first, I was like, oh, Jemima, I made it. I made it, of course, and you can make it too. So that was why I got my internship, and it has been one of my achievements, and I've been so happy about it, to, to, to be an anatomy intern the first. Um, I think in Nigeria, in Nigeria, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but this is what I want you to understand that nothing good comes easy. 
I was hardworking, I was consistent, um, I was determined, I was focused, um, I didn't give up even when it was almost time for me to give up. I listened to mentors, I had advisors anytime I needed someone to talk to. Um, so many things got me this internship and it's not just about reading. It's not, it's, it wasn't really about reading but it was about putting so much effort because it, even with all the efforts we put in, they assessed us on various areas. You anatomists, they struggle to get a skill. If it needs you doing something during your, your holidays, I know the pandemic has really scattered so many things, but if it warrants you to get yourself busy, maybe in a dead care home, and an IVF clinic, you could volunteer. It's You don't really should be pursuing the money, but you should be pursuing getting skills. So if you, you could also go to a histopathology lab, you don't necessarily need to be paid, or you just want to acquire skills. Because it's not just about the um, practicals, or not practicals, not, it's, it's, it's not about the theory you receive in classes. It's you really need to get a skill. A skill will help you. You need to be busy. You need to know what you are doing. It's not just studying the structure of the body. Hey, if you study, study the structure of the body and so what happens after studying the structure? So you need to get a skill. I recommend other persons watching this video that are capable of opening a firm for anatomists to go and learn skills and become interns. It will be helpful to the society and to our CVs. And before you know it, the government may even take this up and you see that the government may include anatomists and our sister um, department physiology into the course salary of those that are supposed to be paid for internship and you see we get there so there are so many things that we need to do you and i and if there is any other thing i know some persons have been troubling me Jemima, how did you get your internship please make a post about it i was like oh okay 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 I'm, I'm i'm going to make a post about it and if i was like okay if this post is going to help a multitude of people i think it's worth doing so i had to do it and yeah you have it so that is basically everything about it so if you want to know about the internship the the firm itself antonio research center i'm going to drop the link on the comment section and please before you go if you find this video very useful and insightful please click the like button share to your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you